Coach Snyder, Flow Nationals, 2014. First off, what are the Nebraska Cornhuskers looking for to recruit this year? Oh, uh, you know, we like guys that um, got. We like a lot, a lot of guys with good grit. Um, got to have a lot of resolve and bounce to you. You know, with the rest of them in the Big Ten, it's important that you. You've been through some some struggles before. Um, tough, hard-nosed kids. You know, Manning definitely. That's the type of kid he likes to get. Guys that are willing to work and do whatever it takes to win. You look at the uh, the training center you guys have there. You guys got an Olympic training center. It seems to be growing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can build around an Olympic champion, three-time yeah. world champion Jordan Bros. But who else do you guys have training there uh, alongside the college team? Uh, Jason Chamberlain, who's a national finalist for Boise State, and uh, Matt Milners, who is a two-time Division II national champ, 120 kilo guy, um, and obviously we got our James Greens on the circuit now. You know, going to wrestle 70 kilos this summer, and we're looking to bring in a couple more guys this off season, and so it should be, uh, yeah, continuing to grow. It should be good. You guys have one of the best facilities in the country, I think. Yes. And you look at the constant upgrades and the, the Big Ten, like you know, wrestling the Big Ten. How much different is it, you know, wrestling the Big Ten? For Nebraska now. Well, having, after having been in a couple years, um, I think we're you know we're getting the hang of it. Um, it's just different. There's there's no there's no downtime. You know we are we have nine Big Ten duels uh, every year set now. Now that Rutgers and Maryland are in, we have nine Big Ten duels. So it's tough. You don't really have an off week. And so like I said, looking at the type of kids we need, you need guys that can handle the grind, have been through the grind, and are ready to put in the work. Um, and you know being able to bounce from a setback. But the Big Ten is great. It prepares you for the NCAA tournament. Our goal is to produce individual national champs, all Americans, and win a team title. So it's important for us to wrestle the best guys throughout the year. So we love the Big Ten. Do you think you're going to be able to keep guys like Robert Kokish around? I talked to Robert, and Robert always talks about going back to South Dakota and farming. Right. You know, and I, I think there's a Chalfont. He's another guy that's going to go back, go back and farm, which is not typical of a lot of kids. You know, they don't right. want to go back and work in their family farms. But can you keep a guy like that around? Yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to keep Kokish around. Um, He's a great kid. He's he is what we're looking for in a guy. You know, Kokish has the you know heart of a champion. He works his butt off day in and day out. He lives his life right outside the room, um, and you know he's just he's just a model of what we want. So we're going to do our best to keep him around. And I've already negotiated the deal with his dad. We got him for a few years, so we'll just see. We, we got we just got to keep enticing Link. He loves Lincoln. He loves the guys. He wants to give back. Um, to his program. So we're, we're looking forward to having Kokish not only next year, but a couple years in the future. You know, I look at guys that you have on your team that I think a guy who the, the big time grind got to would be Dudley. That would be my example. At the end of the year, I don't think he could have had the season he could have had. Do you think the Big Ten wears a guy like that down and, he, and he's just, you know, a first year guy in your lineup? Uh, no, it's all just, you know, it's going to tweak a couple things. I think it, I think it can make a guy like Dudley shine. And I think it's going to, you know, you know, it's the future's the future. But I, I got a lot of high hopes for Dudley that he's going to figure it out. You know, he, he hates to lose. Um, he's going to train his butt off and figure it out. And we got to do a couple things different on our end. And, you know, now that haven't been through it one year with him, you know, we, you know, we got a good idea what we need to do to get Tim Dudley on the podium. I look at you guys next year, and I see a lot of these teams that you guys could have legit two national champs next year, three, next year two or three. Mm -hmm. What do you guys got to do to get three guys in the finals, bring home a team trophy? You know, it's just that we got to get a few guys in the finals. Um, you know, James and Robert, they got to take care of their business, and you know, Jake Suflone, who's hasn't quite cracked it at the big uh, at the NCAA tournament is. He's a warrior. He's going to figure it out. And, you know, we need a guy like him to, to come through and, and, and place high next year. And we need guys on the bubble. We need Dudley. We need Lambert. Uh, we do, and we need uh, Austin Wilson, guys that have been to the tournament before. We need them to put a few wins together and get on the podium as well. You know, let's just you know, wrestle their matches and uh, take them one match at a time and um, bring, in, bring in all the effort, intensity, and attitude they, they bring to the room, bring that to the mat every time they step on it. And... Our guys have a really good attitude right now. You know, we didn't finish where we wanted to finish by any means. And, um, you know, I think Robert and James had a, a pretty decent tournament. Um, James had a setback against Ness, but other than that, he wrestled really well. And Robert put in one of the most unbelievable feats I've ever seen with the injury that he had. Um, you know, he's the toughest kid I know by far. Um, but, you know, I you know, we have... We got those two guys to build off of, and our other guys are hungry. And so, this guy's got to pull it together next year. And uh, we're excited as a program for what we're going to be able to do next year. Recruiting's the name of the game. You know, I look at the Ohio State, you know, class that's coming in and the guys they have now. 
Recruiting is the name of the game. It feels like you guys can recruit coast to coast. Obviously, you've done a really good job in Jersey. I mean, a phenomenal job yeah. in, in Jersey, I would say. Jersey's been good to Nebraska. But you get on South Dakota. Mm -hmm. Kokish is South Dakota. You've had, I think Padden was an All-American in South Dakota. Yeah, yeah. But you look at states like that, you recruit the Plain States well, you recruit the East Coast well. What do you got to do to get into the West Coast? Uh, I think, you know, just establish a few more relationships out there. Um, you know, we, we have good relationships throughout the Midwest and on the East Coast, and it's just it's just getting out there, just finding the right type of kid that's gonna fit at Nebraska. Have him come, be successful, other kids from his area can see themselves doing it. And um, you know, it doesn't matter where you're from, as long as as long as you've got, if, you, if you're hard-nosed and, and you're willing to work and, and you got a lot of grit to you, you're gonna make it at Nebraska, you're gonna do really well. Is Lincoln the best college town in the United States of America? Ah, I don't know about that. It's fun. It's a good time. It's, uh, it's There's a lot going on, but I haven't been to every, every other one. There's some other really nice schools, but Lincoln's great. I, I'll give you that. It's been, I'm an East Coast, you know, East of PA boy. And Nebraska's like my second home. It's been awesome. From, the, from day one, Lincoln has been nothing but welcoming. The people in Nebraska are great. You know, Midwest people in general are great, but Nebraska has the best fans. The athletic department is second to none in terms of support for their student athletes. Um, so you come to Lincoln, you're going to get a, you know, one heck of a college experience um, and, and tons of support. Do I have to start calling you Dr. Snyder? No, no, you don't. I, some of my guys have started to. I think mainly, mainly just to bust me a little bit. But if you want to, I'll, I'll accept it. What is your uh, doctor degree? In? Sociology. Sociology. Yep. So do you like? Do you read a lot of like how people intermingle in society and whatnot? Yeah, I've you know read tons of that stuff about how people interact and you know, trends and yeah. So all the sociology stuff. Could we see you doing lectures? Will you will you go in and be a professor? Is that something that's you know, going to happen? I've, no, actually, I had left wrestling to go, to go into academia, but then once I did my dissertation research, um, which was in a high school wrestling room, I realized that's where I wanted to be back in the high school, in, the, in the wrestling. So um, I've been asked to teach a couple classes at UNL, but it, it's it kind of, depending on the class, I could do it, but it conflicts. If it's during the day, I can't do it. Maybe a night class. I've, I've had some opportunities, but none that have fit my schedule. If the right opportunity presents itself, you can see me in the classroom. Last thing, do you like watching uh, high school kids wrestle with the college rules? Yeah, I think they're great. I think it's always, um, you know, I, I think college rules are great. I, mean, I, have to see, I like to see guys should be rewarded for wrestling on top and out of bounds rules. So I think it's good. It gives them a little bit, it's a, it's a little easier for us to evaluate because they're coming to wrestle our style. You know? All right, you got, anything, you got anything else for me? Go Huskers.